Okay, one other really good talking point, which I'm, we could talk about from now until midnight, but we obviously haven't got time for that, um, is uh, Gus Harris says, uh, praising what he says, I mean, Italy could have upset Wales yesterday, I'm sure. I'm sure the Italians will actually think that they missed an opportunity in a big way there. But obviously Scotland today have been well beaten by Ireland. And he says, how different would it be and how different would the attitudes of clubs of the sides like Scotland and Italy in particular if there was relegation from a first tier of a Six Nations and there was a really strong second tier with promotion and relegation? How, how would that impact on what we see? Oh, it would make it even worse, wouldn't it? <laughs> from a from a enjoyment perspective, listen, I think it's a it's a valid point. Um, uh, there's there's the emerging nations for like Portugal, Spain, Romania, Georgia, Georgia. Yeah, um, I don't know. I don't think uh, it's. I don't think they're there yet because I don't think you, you only have. That, you, I think you should only have that if it improves the product. Italy coming into what was the Five Nations to the Six Nations in the year two thousand has really enhanced it. I'm not sure if promotion or relegation would have that same impact. So I would be going against it. <laughs> but you might have expected I, that. I would, <laughs> I, I, would yeah. like, I would like to see, because I think Georgia are incredibly impressive in the World Cup. And they've got so many and, players playing in the French. Yeah, and I'd like, to, I'd like to see them compete with these guys more often. How that's done or not, I don't know. The, I'm not a fan of the relegation element. I think it isn't... The question, or the spirit of that question was, would it affect them more if they thought that they wouldn't be in the competition anymore. I can guarantee you that there isn't a Scottish player that came off that field today not disgusted with the fact that they didn't perform to the way they would have liked to and not feeling that they let themselves down a little and their jersey down a little because that's the way every player feels when they lose. I don't know that they need the extra yeah. like unbelievable pressure in within it but I think the sustainability of this tournament is built around the, the countries that we know. Well, but France would have got relegated last year. Yeah, yeah. But I'd like <laughs> to see. Yeah, and if France were relegated next year, how does that co the competition function in terms of? It isn't just about rugby, the rugby because it's it about the economy and, and, and everything else yes, and everything that goes with it. So, but I do, I'd love to see Georgia. I mean, I'd love yeah. to see Georgia having a cut. At, at some of these teams because I think they'd frighten the life out of them. So I think the answer to that question is can we get the Tier 1 countries playing more of the Tier 2 countries to de develop them? The answer to that absolutely is yes. Where in the, in the congested rugby calendar can that happen? Who knows? We played Italy every year prior to them getting in. Uh, you know, they beat us three times. But, but, but with know. the best one in the world, the, you know, if one, the, 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 the big boys are very reluctant in the autumn to play more than one, and they sometimes do that, you know, with a, with a very heavy heart, to play one of the tier two nations because they want to just play the big guys because it makes money. So there's no sense of responsibility from the top nations, yeah. is there, to try and develop the second tier? Uh, and you know but, what there, I, but there was. That's the point. Before Italy got in, there was that sense. Italy were involved far more often than any other team, and because they were playing them so often, it was said, listen, these guys are good enough and should be in the competition. For that to happen, you have to say, listen, uh, what's, the, what's the top tier two team? It's Georgia. Well, then they have to be playing one or two of the autumn internationals. You know what I think is one of the most scandalous things that's, uh, that's never happened? New Zealand have never gone to the South Seas, to Fiji, Tonga and Samoa and played in those countries. And I think that is a, a terrible So How good would that be for the All Blacks to go to them? They've never done it. I, I met a leading official from the New Zealand Rugby Union on holiday, funnily enough, a few weeks ago, and I put that very point to him. Mm. And his answer was, why should we? Well, because to develop the game. I, I could be very cynical and say they've taken a lot of players from those countries over the years who've, who've moved to New Zealand. I think New Zealand have to go there. <laughs> of course they should. Yeah. I mean, no, I'm sorry, I was silent for a reason. Yeah, okay. you know.